here I'm going to showcase my buddy. You can't even barely see it anymore on this side. I'll try and insert a clip of when I first brought him home and you could see the obvious blood red redness. You can see a little bit of it on this side, but both sides were really blood red. His belly was blood red. Now, diagnosing and treating sepsis. So, if you see redness in the fins, that can be caused by multiple things. Anywhere from water quality, ammonia spikes, buildup of nitrates, even medications in the water will cause redness. Some fish will show redness. Pale finned fish, you can see redness breaks. So if you see redness in the fins, that's not so much septicemia. If it gets really bad, you can treat it with an antibiotic. Um, while you're working on water quality, it's usually almost always water quality related if it's redness in the fins. But when you have redness in the body, not open sores, but just redness bleeding out, you will usually see it in what I like to call the armpits of the fish. Fish will get red spots on the belly if they bottom sit. They will also get red spots uh, on the body if they top air hang and air irritates. So that's not sepsis. If you have a fish though that doesn't bottom sit, doesn't top hang, and you see blood spots on the body, especially like you can see in his armpit, and like I said, I'll try and insert the clip of showing when I first got him. That's sepsis. That means that there's an infection causing bleeding out, basically, or blood poisoning. And that requires an antibiotic. Um, I have not dealt with sepsis that much. I did have... Maybe I can even dig back through and find uh, when my chocolate... Shukin had it on his red fin after that lice outbreak that I dealt with and I tried Nitrofurin and that did not work and I had to switch to Canaplex and That cleared it up So this fish I just double hit and decided to do both a fed antibiotic and an antibiotic in the water so I went with Sulfaplex, which is very similar to, to Canaplex now what? people need to understand about antibiotics is there's different strains of uh, bacteria. There's gram positive, there's gram negative, there's anaerobic. So if you are treating with an antibiotic and it's not working, don't assume it's not bacterial. It just might be a different strain. So it's good to get a, an antibiotic that covers multiple things or like what I did is I did a fed pellet now this is the duo pellet erythromycin and doxycycline fed and then I put sulfaplex in the water and one dose three days and we are 75 percent all better so I'm going to do another, like I said, a water change in a dose. So it's very important that, that when you're diagnosing sepsis, that it's not ulcer wounds re bleeding out because you're going to get blood when they're opening up wounds. It's not water quality. It's not a wound. It's not parasite. It's distinctly red blotches in the body, and you usually see them up around the fin base uh, on the fish. So that's diagnosing and treating sepsis and I am convinced this guy's going to make a full recovery.